Good morning, this is Priyank Savla from, our, uh, from NetBrain booth 1537 at Cisco Live 2017. With me, I have Todd Bristol of Moving, and he has been our customer for a long time, and he uses NetBrain in some really interesting ways, so let it, uh, we'll ask him a few questions. Okay. Hey Todd, how long have you been using NetBrain for? We've been using it approximately three years. Uh, we've seen it a little earlier than that, and a couple of years we, we would always see it and always say, hey man, we'd be great to have that, it would be great to pick that up. So finally, we got an opportunity to get it, and uh, we've been real happy since we have. Okay, uh, and you have a very unique way of using NetBrain. Would you mind sharing with our audience how do you use NetBrain? Yeah, sure. Um, we use it, and let's not get it twisted, we do use it the conventional way. Uh, we do point it towards production and we use the run books and we use all the, the features that everybody understands with NetBrain. But one of the things we also do is we point it towards a dev environment. For example, we had a situation where we were trying to prepare for a build uh, into AWS and have two connections into AWS and, and we had to simulate that environment. What we did was we pointed NetBrain towards uh, a viral, a Cisco viral sandbox and then in that sandbox we got to do all of our testing, we got to test all of our configurations and we also got to see live when things would break. For example, I need to break one circuit and see how the whole environment changed as a result of that circuit being down, not just ARP tables, but routing tables and every every parameter associated with the network after that change. We're able to see that in NetBrain, then we're able to go back and tweak it, watch how NetBrain reported it, go back until we got it fine-tuned enough where we could actually put it in production. So at the end of the day, we started the you know to put that in production more like on the five yard line versus the 25 or 30 had we just had to do it without playing around with it. And what that does is allows us to get more familiar with NetBrain because then we can say, wow, this is what NetBrain can capture when there's a failure. Well, can it can do this? And you can do all that mm. away from production. So that's mm. really where the value came in for us. Mm. Yeah. And Todd, before, uh, before buying NetBrain, were mm. you guys able to do any of this? Not really, you know, there's just, there aren't, we didn't have any tools that allow you to do that. Mm -hmm. So there are some generic network, well I won't say generic, but there are some basic network management tools mm -hmm. that give you certain type of features and functionality. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to, to point those to a dev, in a dev lab. For example, if you're using a network management tool that's cloud-based, mm -hmm. how do you now point that to dev without, you know, really having to reconfigure the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's really difficult. So the bottom was we really didn't have the ability to do that uh, until NetBrain came around. So basically mm -hmm. NetBrain kind of helped you make your network design and its performance more predictable. Absolutely. That is what NetBrain helped you, Absolutely. you achieve in your job. Mm -hmm. uh, Todd, I have one more question. So you did see our 7.0 demo over here. Yes. What do you think about it? Any feedback or comments for us? Yeah, where's my copy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, 7.0, is, is it's such a big difference between the previous version. And uh, I'll be honest, I drooled through most of it. And I once I got maybe two minutes into it, my mind switched to, okay, how fast can we get it? It's uh, it, it looks really, really nice. And obviously I didn't go through everything because the demo is, is not gonna give you 100% of what it can do. But what it did is totally wet my whistle. I can't wait till we get it and have the ability to upgrade. Thank yeah. you so much, Todd. Mm -hmm. Before you go, uh, how do you think uh, IT management and senior leadership should, should look at NetBrain as an investment? Well, I, I think IT management, you know, senior leaders and even engineers, we, we kind of all have one goal in mind and that goal evolves around having your network up, right? So from a network engineering perspective, you're always looking for tools or, or you know, tools or, or methods or practices that can help you do that better, help you do it quicker, gather information from under the table that you normally couldn't gather and NetBrain really helps us do that. There's an area where, where NetBrain can bring stuff that we, about our network uh, to to light so we can make decisions on it and also in the way that we use it NetBrain helps us prepare as you have a project like we did where we needed to simulate something and understand how that would work before it gets to production um, and we've gotten so much uh, good responses back from our AWS team as it relates to the implementation that we did and that was a lot that was dependent on what we did with NetBrain. So um, those are the kind of common things that engineers and, and senior management have goals that we have in common and NetBrain helps us get there. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Todd. All right. Thank you for your very kind answers and you'll get your copy of Seminar. <laughs> I'm looking for it. I'll be waiting. Yeah. Thanks.